reunion of black alumni under one Reginald Francis. 
from a working class family in Baltimore, but rose to the highest echelon of the financial world in 1987 when he engineered the leverage buyout of Beatrice Foods International, 64 companies in 31 countries, for $985 million. Those interested in his story could buy his bio biography, Why Should White Guys Hold the Fun? How <laughs> Reginald Lewis created a billion dollar business empire. And allow me a little commercial break here. The book is still available at Amazon.com.
as we all know, as Harvard grads, Harvard is about leadership. And so we would be remiss if we didn't make sure to take special mention and really give uh, you know our heartfelt thanks. I mean, look at this room. Uh, what a wonderful sight. And even just walking around, coming to the campus, you walk by another black person, they think you're coming to here, they're not sure, they give you a nod, they give you a nod, they say hello. <laughs> and it's just, you know, you're at home. It's just really wonderful. Uh, and I think the key thing is for us to try to make sure that we galvanize, continue this, and make sure we stay connected amongst one another, but also with the students currently in place. But we must give uh, real thanks to Cheryl, to Candace, and Kimberly, and Justin. Of course, this is all volunteer, everyone. They're volunteering their time. What, a, what an amazing, what an amazing uh, day. My sincere thanks to Harvard, the Harvard Black Alumni Society, the Harvard, Harvard Alumni Association for recognizing me today. And of course, thank you so, so very much, Loyola. I'm incredibly grateful that you could be here today to present this award to me personally. I am honored and humbled to have but any association with Reginald F. Lewis, with you, and with the, fam with the Lewis family name. May we follow in the example of our shining star, Reginald F. Lewis, and in other examples like Raymond J. McGuire, who, like Reginald Lewis, and both are examples for us, the real model of excellence and the ethic of giving. And of course, Lord, that you remain intricately a part of that with your husband's legacy and with all of us as an example today. Please also allow me to express with deep affection my appreciation for your friendship, our frequent time and talks together, and the many blessings you always, always ask upon me. Every time we engage, you always close with, may God blessings be with you. And always so thankful. Know that in my own formation and today, and forever, I, as I'm sure we all, are inspired, motivated, and moved to strive in your, your husband's, and your family's legacy. We shall remain faithful to Reginald's words. Keep going, no matter what. Thank you so very much.